Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna try to convince you that you do not need to buy an extractor, and when you do buy an extractor, the extractor you should buy is actually less expensive than you think, because I'm gonna teach you how to maximize the products and tools you use before you have to implement an extractor to get the results that you want. What's going on guys? Luke here with Wilson Auto Detailing, a detailing business based out of Nashville, Tennessee, and an online training business where we teach detailers how to start and grow their businesses. Now, really quick before we jump into the video, I'm hosting a live training on Zoom that's totally free on October 12th. You can register with the link below, and we're talking about a business approach to paint correction, the frameworks to paint correction that I've built over the last 13 years of running my detailing business. And it's the first hands-on paint correction training I've ever hosted via Zoom. So again, if you want to register, do it with the link below. Now let's jump into the video. So the extractor that you see me using here is the Mighty Light 8070. It is a heated carpet extractor. It is also a very popular carpet extractor in the detailing business. Let me start the video by saying it is a fantastic option for a carpet extractor and I'm not dogging it whatsoever. Here are the things that I do not like about the Mighty as a mobile detailer. It is really, really heavy. It takes a lot of amps or a lot of electricity when you're using it and it's relatively clunky. So it's very hard to get into tight spaces. And this is true of a lot of extractors, but it's definitely true of this one. You really have to make sure that you do a lot of vacuuming beforehand because you don't want a bunch of debris and stuff being sucked up into that suction extractor head and then being dumped into the waste tank because it can start to make things a little complicated over time. Now the next extractor you see me using here is actually not an extractor. It is just a regular shop vac. It's a vacuum. It's my four gallon rigid vacuum. I've talked about this before, but this is from the company Rip Clean. It's their better extractor kit. So essentially they put together the kit where you can turn a vacuum into an extractor. So it comes with the waste hose, it comes with the water line, it comes with the extractor head. So before I tell you guys which one I prefer professionally, and you probably already know which one it is, I wanna talk about the products and the strategies I use on the front end. There are two particular product lines that I go down as a pro detailer before I use an extractor that always get me basically the perfect results every time. The number one product I reach for when I am using an extractor is called DS2, okay? It is an industrial carpet cleaner. I dilute one ounce per 32 ounces in a spray bottle. Sometimes I'll go to three or four ounces. Here's the main application in which I use it. Generally speaking, I like to say light repeated applications is best. If you're using an extractor, that rule goes out the window. The reason I like the DS2 industrial carpet cleaner is because number one, you get a crazy amount for your money. And secondly, it's an extremely, extremely powerful cleaner. It foams up really nicely. And after you're all done, this particular cleaner dries inside of the carpet fibers as the fibers dry. And you can vacuum it up afterwards really easily because it actually does kind of crystallize at a microscopic level. So in your final vacuum, when the carpets are dry, you don't have anything left. Now here's the main application in which I use it when I'm pulling out an extractor. I will literally soak the carpets. I take my medium stiffness drill brush. I use a drill brush as aggressively as I can. Then I take my nylon bristle head on top of my steamer. I go over the carpets with my steamer and I immediately extract afterwards. Here's the thing. The reason why that process gets such great results is not necessarily the extractor. It's really the product and the heat from the steamer and the agitation from the drill brush. I can get oftentimes the same results without an extractor as I can with an extractor. Again, the only reason why I pull out an extractor in the first place is if the carpets are so beat down that there's really no other way to pull those fibers back up. Now, after that first application, I'm then going to move and back off the product for each consecutive time I follow up with that. If I need to continue, I'm going to spray a little bit less product the second time. The third time is gonna be the least amount of cleaner introduced. Now, I wanna emphasize that is specifically what I do for carpets. I wanna jump over to the other video here because I'm using, again, my Rip Clean Better Extractor Kit attached to my rigid vacuum and I'm doing it on the upholstery seats this time. When I am doing things on upholstery seats and I am extracting, I approach it a little bit differently. And generally speaking, I do not reach for the DS2 carpet cleaner. The reason why I don't reach for DS2 on upholstery seats is because it tends to work best when I can use a lot of it and it's on traditional carpeting, okay? That means the fibers stick up like this. So when I am using an extractor approach on upholstery, I will reach for the three-tiered carpet cleaning system from P and S. First, it's an application of their enzyme cleaner. I work that into the fibers just a little bit. Then I don't clean anything off. I spray their carpet bomber shampoo five to one on top of that. Then I will move to extract after I've agitated it or steamed it a little bit. And then we'll finish with the peroxide finisher. That particular cleaning system will get you incredible results on upholstery every single time. Now to be clear, after I've used the enzyme cleaner as a pre-treatment and then the carpet bomber shampoo on top of that, I'll take a soft bristle drill brush and I will agitate. And rarely will I use a steamer only if it's absolutely necessary. Generally, I move straight to extraction. And the number one key here is that after I extract, I use a totally dry microfiber towel to mop up as much as I possibly can. And I really only like to do this on a sunny, relatively warm day so that it's quick to dry. The reason why I'm pointing out my process here is because the things that get me the best results in these situations is not the extractor. It's the products I use, it's the sequence of the approach, and it's potentially really simple things like using a dry microfiber towel that's not sexy and it's not really interesting, but it actually does work. Now to come to the conclusion of this video, if I was going to use one extractor for the rest of my life, it would no doubt be the Rip Clean Better Extractor Kit. Not only is it cheaper, it's also way easier to 
towed around. You get a ton of suction power from the vacuum itself because that's the primary purpose of a vacuum, right? And then I don't have to vacuum a bunch before I use this because it is a vacuum. So even if I'm pulling up debris into the suction head, it goes straight through that wide mouth suction head and it just goes straight through the hose into the waste tank, just like it would if I was vacuuming up just dry debris. I do like to have a second vacuum that's dedicated for my extractor and then a first vacuum that's just my dry vacuum. If you follow this stuff, there is no way you're not going to get fantastic results on your customers' upholstery and carpets, and these are the products I suggest in doing it. If you want to check out any of the products or tools I mentioned here, everything will be linked in the YouTube description box below. And of course, in the same place below in the YouTube description box is where you can register for the live paint correction training I'm hosting for free on October 12th. Guys, as always, thank you so much for being involved. And remember, a great detailer is always learning. And I'll see you guys in the next video.